Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, welcome back to Pouring Whiskey. It's Friday once again, and it's going to be a good day because it's Friday. Everybody's got to be happy about that, right? So let's get into it. Broken Barrel. This is their Americana. Straight American whiskey finished with broken barrel staves. So if you don't know much about these here people at this good distillery, they age their whiskey in a new charred oak American barrel, just like anyone else. But when they finish their whiskey, they take old barrels, other distilleries here and there, wherever they want to pick them up from. They take hammers, axes, pickaxes, and they bust these barrels all up. And they put that broken barrel to finish their whiskey. So you get all these different flavors. So, this here, <clears throat> a beautiful 100 proofer, so that's always nice. We get their mash bill. We get a little information. I love that. So, 80% corn, 14 rye, and 6 malted barley. But, now this is a third 2023 bottled year, and this is actually batch number Two. Hmm. Really pretty lucky about that. This is what I like. They give you a, uh, I guess their barrel breakdown of what went into this batch. 40% charred American oak. Nice. 40% toasted American oak. Oh yeah. Give you a little bit of that extra little toasty flavor. A little extra char. 20% American apple brandy cask. Oh. So, let's let's find out. Does that twenty little percent of that American apple brandy come through? I'm pretty interested. Mm. Now that's a real cork, and that's a real cork pop, my friends. Oh yeah. So. That's a nice bottle too. That pretty thick. Thick glass is always nice. You don't want to. Oh yeah, that's a nice cork. So <clears throat> we don't know about the age, as far as I believe. It's not on the bottle, but that's okay. We're going to imagine it's that's four years because it is an American whiskey, <clears throat> straight American whiskey. I'm sorry. But hey, this American apple brandy, that really kind of intrigues me. And for everything that they do, 30 bucks. $30 bottle. Come on, my friends. There's not much to say about that. If it's good, you know. Hmm. I'm getting some, a little bit of honey on that. I'm actually getting a little toasty. A little bit of that toasted barrel. Hmm. Not a bad color. A little light. That could be from the brandy. Brandy's light. Good flavor lines run down that glass, too. Hmm. Hmm. To the tongue, the best part. That is very interesting. Very interesting, my friends. Wow. There's, there's a honey that comes through there, which is very weird. I thought. <clears throat> I would have. Hmm. Something about honey. Maybe it's got to be that apple. See, it's there's a little bit of a linger. Not bad at all. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's 
uh, open up a little bit. A little air in there. Mm. So, hope you all enjoyed your week. And if you didn't, guess what? It's the weekend. So, we'll hope you enjoy that. <clears throat> huh. I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting ample now or not. There's a little subtle of a, I don't want to say green apple. It's not sour. Hmm. It's tasty. Very tasty, my friends. The 100 proof is not bad. <clears throat> we would like a little bit more proof. A little bit more. But, hey, what I've said in the past is sometimes a little bit more proof is better. So guess what? We also have the cash strength review coming soon. Uh, but hey, another 15 points of proof. That always makes me happy. I don't know about you all. So we will get into this here bad boy one day here shortly. But for right now. There's a little bit of air to that. There's a little apple on that. It's subtle, but it's nice. It leaves a nice, nice little linger on the back of your tongue. That is actually really, really good. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Good information. It's all right there. So uh, you all can see it. Zoom on in, my friends. Zoom on in. But hey, yeah, nice bump. Nice to hold on to, too. This little um, finger divot, I guess you could say. So it's not too bad. You can really grasp that bottle. I do like that. So then we'll get into our wonderful Infinity bottle. Because, you know, <clears throat> that's what we're doing for the year of 2024, my friends. Take this here cork off once again. Mm. That's going to sound good. That's a good cork pop, my friends. Very good cork pop. Mm -hmm. mm. I hope Cash Strength has a good cork pop too. But uh, the no mess tools, that's what we do because you don't want to pour your good whiskey all over the table. That's not something that you want to do. You want to get all them drops out, though. So. Perfect. Well, best thing I can tell you, my friends, enjoy your weekend. I'm going to. And hey, go out there, find yourself something nice. I did. I can definitely tell you, this is going to be really good bottle. That's going to open up. It's going to let that apple come through there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to enjoy this little, little buddy. This little bottle buddy, my friends. So, if you can pick this up, I would definitely suggest it. It's got a nice little whiskey, whiskey tongue, whiskey flavor, however you want to explain it. The apple starting to come through. Hey, and uh, I'm going to look into it for later different bottles. But uh, if they're Americana, they're straight American whiskey. Maybe they don't always do American brandy casks. I don't know. It's a new, new distiller to me. So, hey, happy hunting. Maybe we'll find another Americana that is finished in a different way, my friends. I hope I can. If they do it, I'll find out. If you know it, let me know down in the comments. Have you had this with a different oak bill on 
on the back. I would definitely like to know. But hey, until next week, y'all enjoy your weekend. I hope you enjoy your week. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what to do. We'll see y'all next week.